It's your radio live from Copenhagen and now we are here with Frank Alles from the OGAE. And if you haven't heard that word before, if you don't know what that means, now he will explain this to you. <laughs> Frank, hi. Hi, um, good to be here. OGAE, yeah, what does it mean? It's uh, the International Fan Club. And it is a French name, of course. Organisation Générale de l'Amateur de l'Eurovision. It was founded in Finland, uh, but now there are sections in all European countries. And I'm representing OGE Germany, uh, which you see German brand of it, so to say. So tell us a little bit about your work. What do you do in the club? Uh, the club just uh, invites fans just to join together, to party together, but we organize as well our own club competitions, second chance contests, so to say. We organize tickets for the international events, for the Eurovision Song Contest finals, semi-finals, and of course for national selections as well. So if you want to travel, for instance, to Norway or wherever, we can help you just to get tickets. And of course we have a magazine, it looks like this, it's called so-called Eurovoice, it's in German, but other clubs in other countries in Europe have similar products as well, uh, where we just have reports about what's going on in the Eurovision season throughout the year. And of course, um, we are just yeah. The, we have we give the chance to gather together. We have our club meeting where we invite international guests, where we invite former Eurovision participants for concerts once a year. Most of the time in Munich, but in other places in Germany as well. We have regional meetings where you can meet friends, Eurovision fans. Um, so that's what we're doing all over the. Uh, I think we should speak a little more about the club meetings because I joined several of them. And I can only recommend them. And I know that uh, these club meetings are organized in all countries, uh, several countries across Europe. We speak here about the German uh, club meeting, but uh, uh, I think it's quite international as well, right? Tell us about the last meeting maybe and uh, yeah. who was there, which guests? Uh, the last meeting was in Munich and we had, um, of course, we had always have several guests and visitors from all over Europe. And uh, we have had participants like Marion Rung, we had former winners as Marianne, we had Severine from Monaco there, we had um, Joy Fleming, German international stars. We had, last year we had the Harrys for uh, their 40th anniversary uh, during the club concert. We had Jan Johansson from Sweden, uh, we used to have uh, Christa Bjorkman and others as well. So um, we try just to have a quite wide spectrum of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of uh, singers and uh, former participants who keep most we try at least to get um, guests people like most uh, which are popular with our members uh, but sometimes we have some exotic parts in this as well like to say participants of the Macedonian pre-selection we used to have once if we think they are interesting enough to be presented to an audience um, and of course it's a party we have um, Information part in the afternoon, we have uh, quiz and games in the afternoon, we have the concert in the evening, and of course the Eurovision Disco in the night. Uh, so it's a very international meeting and party place with its former participants, and that's always a good joy and, yeah, and always fun to come. And how about uh, the collaboration between the clubs from different countries? There is, on some level, there is uh, some kind of collaboration. I think there's also a voting every year. Uh, there is. Um, there is uh, yeah, the, the, the connecting structure is called OGA International. Uh, it's our, so to say, our mother organization. We all belong to this. They organize the tickets for the Eurovision Song Contest itself. Um, they have uh, sort of a, a prediction for, for the contest. So all the clubs send their predictions, their votes to it, OGA International. They got it published on their website and on other websites uh, which are available in Europe. So there's a kind of competition we, they organize, but it's more or less uh, an organizational structure, OGE International is. So the acts really happening are happening uh, in the local and the national clubs. So it sounds like it's, uh, if you really want to get more involved into Eurovision, then it's uh, maybe a good choice to enter or to join one of these clubs. Uh, any last words, maybe? Yes, of course, you should join OJE if you don't want to have Eurovision in mind only for two weeks during the Eurovision season. But with OJE you can have Eurovision fun all over the year. So if you are afraid to get bored during summer or autumn, get a member of the OJE and so you get information and Eurovision fun all over the year. Perfect. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.